SH. I'll say SH. And he says, hey, Tyler, not to black pill, but if you have to flee the country, how long do you think it would take you until you could return Lenin style? Keck 07. <laughs> 07, buddy. I don't know. You know, I, I, I mentioned this. Uh, on uh, or during my speech with the um, Fresno State College Republicans back in November when I went out to California for my event there. Um, I mentioned that in that speech that I might have to leave the country and then return Lenin style to lead the revolution. And um, no, nobody knows. I think that Lenin, Lenin stayed 10, 11, 12 years out of the country. I think it was like 11 years, right? I forget the exact time frame. I think it was 11 years that Lenin left the country for. And then he came back and he led the and he helped the revolution, right? And so you know, I I don't know how much time it would take. And the only way that I would have to do that is if like the feds were really coming after me, like things would have to get pretty bad for me to have to flee the country. I have a plan. I, I'm, I'm always. I've talked about this on the show before. I do have a plan. I have multiple plans actually, on how to get out if I have to. But you know, I think that we're good for now. And yeah, I don't really know a time frame. It could be a couple of years. You know, if Trump gets back in in 2024, things could turn around drastically. Things you know, like the culture surrounding our movements and stuff like that, it could change drastically if Trump wins in 2024 and real America firsters get into his admin. Things change overnight if that happens. So who knows? Who knows? What what could it could be a couple years? It could be 10 years. Who knows? But um, you know, it's that's a very real possibility. And some of you guys might have to too. If you've been active online, like like using your real name, being involved within distant spaces, you'll probably have to flee too at some point if the globalists continue to get away with, with what they're getting away with, right? It's part of the fun. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's part of what makes it exciting, I guess, right, buddy? But thank you very much for the big dono. I appreciate it. Uh, Gothicus with the $3 USD. Thank you very much says, when is the time to leave Canada if it isn't now? I feel like they're going to make an example out of Quebec, and even Alberta will be screwed with Jason, backtracking trader Kenny. You know, like I said earlier on, I don't blame anybody from going to America. I don't. You know, if you have a family, I'd say go to America. Leave the country. Flee the country. Get out before you, like, really, really can't. Um... You know, I'm staying, and I know a lot of people that are staying. Of course, there may come a time in which we have to leave, in which we're prepared for. However, there's there's still some fight left, you know? You know, like, like I, I know people that are leaving. And it's like, I don't blame them for one bit. I don't blame them at all. And like I said, Americans and Canadians, we're, we're the same people. We come from the same place, Right? We're fighting for the same things. I don't think it's it's any worse if, you know, you move down to America and you help out America first. I, I don't think that's any worse. And like I said, there might be some Canadian LARPers that will be like, oh, you yeah, went to America, yeah. But there's just simply LARPers that aren't going to do anything and they don't do anything regardless. So I think that you have to make that decision for yourself. It, it's not necessarily a bad thing. For you to go down to America, right? As long as you're involved in dissident politics, as long as you stay involved and you don't give up on the fight, it's totally okay to go down to America. And that's a decision that you have to make yourself. There is still some fight here, right? I think it's more of, you know, a single person without a family's fight at this point because people with families have children to look out for and like, the child protection services will be coming for children. I've there's there's reports on this. I've talked about this on the show before. That's a very real thing. The children's protection services they've threatened families, unvaccinated families, that they will take their kids from them. So 
families get out now, single people, or, you know, if you have, you know, a fiance or a girlfriend or something like that, or a wife without kids, it's up to you. The timing is up to you. It could be now, and I wouldn't blame you for it. Could be a year from now. There could be a major development and you won't even have to ever leave, right? You know, it's, it's, it's all up to you at this point, right? I will tell you, I know some people that are leaving. I have a plan to leave. I have multiple plans how to get out of the country if I have to, but I'm staying, right? So to make it short and sweet, I don't blame you if you want to go down to America, but, you know, that's a personal decision that you got to make. Fighting for America first is the same for fighting for Canada first. I see they're, they're equivalent, right? So I, I wouldn't blame you for, for going down to America at all. One bit. One bit, by the way. 